Hello students today we will start with lesson number 2 of moral science that is early rising early rising means to wake up early in the morning understood early rising means to wake up early in the morning so let us start the lesson the early bird catches the worm now this is a proverb so what does this proverb means it means that the person who takes the earliest opportunity to do something will gain the advantage over others means if a person wakes up early in the morning and do their work when others are sleeping understood now let's see next what is given in the lesson an early riser always has a head start over those who are still asleep so it means that if a person wake up early in the morning when others are sleeping so if you wake up early in the morning you can do your work before others wake up isn't it yes think of all the wonderful things you could do so there are many things that you can do if you wake up early in the morning so what all things you can do you can do your school work or gather more information from other books you can read any gk books or any other books isn't it yes if you are in the habit of keeping a personal diary so if anyone is having a habit of writing personal diary they can use this early time to wake up early in the morning and you can write your personal diary okay and if you are waking up early in the morning even you can read a story book isn't it yes which you are not getting time for reading so early morning is the time you can read a story book or even you can write a letter to your friend or relative okay so there are many things that you can do early in the morning next this early hours of the morning are the most precious precious means of great value because this is when time is your own isn't it if you wake up early in the morning this will be your own time because there will be no disturbance or distractions so if you wake up early in the morning there will be no one to disturb you not even any noise not even anyone to disturb you so this is the best time for you all to do your work because it will be silence and silence will help you to concentrate on your work understood children so i think you have understood till here now let's see next page devotees use this time for prayer and meditation now what does devotees means it means that a strong belief in a particular religion or god okay so they are using this time early morning time to do prayer and meditation and even industrious people use this time for some work or the other okay and diligent students use it to study so diligent students means good students they will use this early morning time to study while there are others who take exercise in order to remain active for the rest of the day so many others are there 
who are doing exercises to keep themselves active for the rest of the day okay and there are given examples of leaders great leaders like pandit jawaharlal nehru and gandhi ji they have understood the value of working at dawn dawn means the first appearance of light in the sky before sunrise means before sunrise they used to wake up and do their work so that it will be helpful for them for the rest of the day understood so children it might be a good idea if you also do the same thing okay if you are in the habit of waking up just in time to rush off to school why don't you try to start your day a couple of hours earlier from tomorrow so if anyone is having a habit of waking up late and then to hurry up with their works and faster and then rushing for the school so this is a bad habit if you are having a habit of waking up late then try to wake up early in the morning okay so start doing from tomorrow itself yes you can try it isn't it yes and there are so many things that you can do if you wake up early in the morning what all things you can do you can check your timetable and you can see whether all your books are packed correctly or you could revise a lesson or two isn't it you can arrange your timetables you can check whether you have kept all your books correctly or not even you can revise a lesson or two lessons from any one subject so this will be helpful for you isn't it if you prepare everything and go to school it will be helpful for you in the school yes and there is an example given about a poet called henry wordsworth longfellow he wrote a poem in 1848 called the ladder of st augustine it contains the following remarkable verse so from his poem the ladder of st augustine one stanza is given here in your book so let us understand about that stanza the heights by great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight but they while their companions slept were toiling upward in the night now this stanza means that people who achieve great success in life okay people who achieve success in their life they will not achieve their success within one day or suddenly isn't it they are working hard on their goals day and night whereas the companions companions means their friends are sleeping in the comfort so understood students about this stanza the poet has explained that a man will not become a great man suddenly or within a day they are working hard day and night to achieve their success and when the others are sleeping so understood till here okay now let us see next page you will be amazed at the amount of activity there is at the crack of dawn now children there are many activities at the crack of dawn means dawn means what the first appearance of light in the sky before sunrise 
so before sunrise many are doing their works like butterflies flit from flower to flower birds leave their nest in search of food the boatman sets out to sea for his catch while the farmer goes to plow his field so all of them are waking up early in the morning and doing their work so think about this children even you can do your work by waking up early in the morning isn't it yes and next try giving yourself just an extra hour each morning add this up and you have 30 hours in a 30 day month you could finish reading a book or three of 300 pages so what you can do you can finish reading a book of 300 pages even if you read only 10 pages a day so understood next make it a habit to start your day early with some activity so when you wake up early in the morning do some activities like you can do reading gardening exercising or just taking your dog for a walk isn't it so many things are there that you can do whichever work you choose to do you will find yourself more energetic alert and organized for the rest of day understood children whichever activity you will do in the morning it will helpful for you to be more energetic for the rest of the day okay get to bed early at night so that you can get up at the crack of dawn so if you go to sleep at night early then you can wake up early in the morning before sunrise give a fresh start to a new day so you can give a fresh start to a new day if you wake up early in the morning so understood children so this by this we have come to an end of this lesson i hope that you have understood the lesson so what do you have learned from this lesson that if you want to achieve success achieve your goal in your life for your bright future what do you have to do you have to work hard day and night and what you can do you can wake up early in the morning and you can do so many activities are there from that any activity you can do early in the morning like gardening reading or exercising or completing your books or by studying isn't it yes so children think about it and try to start from tomorrow itself okay thank you